Eniola Badmos TV Entertainment without bad. Hey there, welcome to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. On Trending today, Lagos panel of inquiry finds Nigerian army culpable in Lekki massacre. Let's check out the details. The panel of inquiry Lagos State has found the Nigerian military to be culpable in the shooting and killing of unarmed citizens protesting against police brutality in the commercial capital of Lagos in October 20, 2020. In the report submitted to the Lagos State Government, the panel found that there had been 48 casualties including 11 people killed and 4 people missing during what it described as a massacre. You would recall that on the evening of October 20, 2020, a large number of peaceful protesters were at the Tollgate Plaza in Lekki, an obscure Lagos district continuing the demonstrations despite a curfew. The panel, in its key findings, wrote the following. First, that the Nigerian army was invited for intervention in the state and was deployed to Lekki Tollgate. On the 20th of October 2020, at the Lekki Tollgate, officers of the Nigerian army shot injured and killed unharmed, armless and defenseless protesters without provocation or justification while they were waving the Nigerian flag and singing the national anthem could in context be described as a massacre. The panel also found that the conduct of the Nigerian army was exacerbated by its refusal to allow ambulances render medical assistance to the victims who require such assistance. The army was also found not to have adhered to its own rules of engagement. The panel found that the Nigerian police force deployed its officers to the Lekki Tollgate on the night of the 20th of October 2020 and between that night and the morning on the 21st October 2020, its officers shot at, assaulted and battered on armed protesters which led to injuries and death. The police officers also tried to cover up their actions by picking up bullets. 3. The panel found that LCC ampered the panel's investigation by refusing to turn over some useful and vital information or evidence as requested by the panel and the forensic experts engaged by the panel, even where such information and evidence was by the company's admission available. It manipulated the incomplete CCTV video footage of the Lekki Tollgate on the night of the 20th of October 2020, which it turned out before the panel. 4. The panel found that there was an invitation of the Nigerian army to Lagos State made by the Lagos State government through the governor before the hierarchy of the Nigerian army deployed its soldiers to the Lekki Toll Gate on the night of the 20th of October. 5. The panel found that there was an attempt to cover up the incident of the 20th of October by cleaning the Lekki Toll Gate and the failure to preserve the scene ahead of potential investigations. Some of the recommendations by the panel include the holistic police reforms covering welfare, training and proper equipping of policemen and their working environment. 2. Sanctioning of the officers of the Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Police Force respectively who participated in shooting, injuring and killing of unharmed protesters at the Lekki Tollgate on the 20th and 21st of October 2020. Development of more robust engagement between the youth and the government, setting up of a standing committee tribunal to deal with cases of violation of human rights by security agencies and a trust fund to settle compensation awarded by such committee or tribunal. A public apology to NTAS protesters who were killed, injured and traumatized by the incident of the 20th of October 2020. The memorialization of the Lekki Tollgate and the 20th of October going forward. The recognition of hospitals and medical doctors who played heroic roles following the incident of the Lekki Tollgate on the 20th of October 2020, thereby saving lives and minimizing the impact of the injuries suffered by the victims, most of which were on the pro bono basis. And finally, the panel also recommended various sums of compensation to victims of the Lekki Tollgate incident, which must be expeditious in order to accelerate the healing process. Meanwhile, Nigerians reacted to this in good faith, praising the panel of inquiry for not being compromised and also calling out the government to act appropriately in order to respond, punish, as well as ensuring justice to be served for those who lost their lives in the course of the NSAS protest. Will this happen? Well, we keep our fingers crossed as we hope to bring you more in line with this in the coming days. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyola Badmas TV before you go.
wonderful people my name is Eniola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and Badmos TV Entertainment Without Bounds